Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new video and my name is Talk to Orchid everybody. So guys, before we start off, please drop a like and a subscribe and uh, also enjoy the Fortnite background content yeah, that I have for you guys. And uh, guys, in this video we will be discussing I think about three topics uh, that I really want to discuss about the future of this channel. Not really the future because I know I've had a few uploads about that. So I want to get opinions from you guys about what we should do in the future. Okay, so guys, first topic. I am considering about moving on as a non-family friendly streamer or a non-family friendly YouTuber. Now, guys, do know that in the videos that we post, if we post videos, that I will not be um, playing or making videos as a non-family friendly YouTuber. I'll be family friendly on the videos, but on the streams, guys, I want to move over as a non-family friendly streamer because you guys know that recently we moved up. Um, and we started playing Phasmophobia, we started playing a few horror games every now and then on the streams and uh, guys It's kind of hard if you get a pop-up scare or a jump scare It's kind of hard to keep yourself cool and not to swear and stuff because it's really hard and uh, Guys, I want to move over to a non-family friendly youtuber as soon as possible because I don't want to get a too big enough of an audience but um as a family friendly streamer and then all of a sudden I lose all my viewers because I'm moving over as a non-family friendly streamer so guys it's your choice you can still watch my channel my streams um, just do know that we will be start swearing and stuff because also another point that I have to put out there is that my personality in real life um, contains the fact that I am also like I do swear a bit here and there um, on my uh, in my personal life and stuff because that is just my personality and it's kind of hard to um, not swear at all every time we stream or every time we make videos and stuff we won't make videos that are non-family friendly we'll make videos that are family friendly but later on eventually we will move over I just want to do some more research about being a non-family friendly streamer and how that will influence my channel and my monetization goal and all that kind of stuff how YouTube tolerates um, being a non-family friendly youtuber so guys that's it for that topic. So now on to the second topic, uh, YouTube. We are in huge debate. Oh, well, I'm in huge debate. Now, I want to create a new channel. Now, the purpose, the, the starting purpose of my channel on YouTube actually consisted of um, making walkthroughs and doing a lot of things on this channel in regards about testing new games, um, playing new games, fresh games for you guys to be able to watch and uh, react to it and to, you know, do whatever you want with that type of videos. Now, that was always my biggest inspiration about starting a YouTube channel. Now, for some reason, my channel, this current channel, has been posting Fortnite as main content on, its cha on this channel. So, it was a bit tough. I never expected really to move over to main Fortnite player um, or main Fortnite content on this channel. But uh, it just happened due to the fact that, uh, that we will be discussing in topic number three. Um, so that just kind of made me move into Fortnite a little bit more than we used to. And uh, guys, that's why I want to create a new channel that will be um, purposely there for walkthroughs. Now that, that includes playing new games, playing fresh stuff, play, uh, posting fresh content for you guys to react and to view. Um, and to like and everything so guys I do not expect to, gra uh, to drag over, uh, over Guys, I do not expect to drag over a lot of people from this channel to that channel But if you do want to go and subscribe to that channel, I'll create it later today um, After this video has been posted. I'll just put the link down in the description after I've um, created the channel We will be starting to post content on that channel to cover new games and walkthroughs and stuff like that we won't live stream on that channel. We'll still live stream on this channel, but we won't go over to live streaming on that channel. This channel is still going to be my main as I am more interested in Fortnite and that kind of stuff. But also my biggest inspiration, I want to move on and create that and uh, keep people satisfied and entertained by doing walkthroughs and stuff. So just know that after this uh, video is uploaded, I will create the new channel for the walkthroughs. Please give me your opinions down below. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you think that's the right move, if you think that is a wrong move, um, why am I creating this channel or just tell me what do you guys think in general. Um, I'd really like to know what your thoughts are about this um, 
new channel that I want to create. I'd really appreciate all the commentary that you guys will be giving me on that. So, guys, moving on to topic number three is my esports organization. Now, before we start off with anything, let me just make this clear. I am not the actual organization owner of this organization. Now, you guys, most of you know, we started out as Team DOAG called uh, D Dead or Alive Gaming. Now, recently we rebranded to, to the name called Team Anything and uh, we had to let a few players go. Those players are still probably mad at me for doing that. But, um, you know, it is what it is. We didn't have contracts binding them or whatever or whatnot. So, guys, ever since we rebranded, we started giving out contracts. We got contracts and everything. And... Uh, do know that our team created socials um, a few days ago, meaning we have a YouTube, we have an Instagram, and we have a Twitter now. I'll drop all the links down for that in the description down below, and uh, you guys can go and check it out. Now, guys, what I wanted to say is that we are actually looking for a few more players. Um, I think one or two players to just uh, get started off again, because um, we used to be a lot, lot of players, and then we had to let a lot of them go because things were still like standing still at that point in time. So now that we're back on the move, we are recruiting players and we are getting back into tournaments. We're playing every single tournament that we can find. We're playing all the scrims that are on Discord servers. We are doing literally everything to get our names out there. Now, we might, as a team, we might host a tournament on EPS soon. Um, I'll let you guys know about that as soon as we have more information on that. Now, like I said, guys, I, I actually have a lot planned for this organization. Now, no, I am the Fortnite team. Guys, please let me know everything, what your thoughts are about everything we discussed in this video down in the comments below. I'd really, I'm really curious to hear what you guys think. Um, guys, like I said, please drop a like and subscribe on this channel. And uh, I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.